Welcome back to Orlando, Florida, Sprayer Depot headquarters. Want to show you another one of our new lawn truck creations. Uh, this one's a little bit different than the few we've showed you previously. Um, here, it's hard to see on these tanks to know how many tanks are on here, how many pump engines. Uh, so I'm going to go over the total, then I'll show you piece by piece. Uh, so this is a 990 gallon total. We have a 400, 400, a 190. Uh, you may be thinking, 990, that's kind of odd. Well, if you have a thousand gallons, that puts you up in the next tier where you're gonna have a lot more issues if you get pulled over. So we look at things and try and go under that. So 990 is what we set it at. Uh, you have three pump engines, three reels. Uh, so I'll start showing you this, uh, this truck. First bay, let's open it up here. All right, so this is your main bay. As the truck goes, it's 400, 400, 190. I'm gonna open this up for you too. All right, so over here, your first tank is 400. Your first tank is gonna be run off this pump engine right here. We have a Udor Zeta 85 to a Honda Electric Start 160. This is the same pump over here, but I'm just gonna keep over here for now. Your max flow, about 22 gallon a minute. Your max pressure, 300. Uh, great for agitation inside a big tank. Any lawn care application you need, you're gonna have the flow rate for it. Um, going up to the reel, you got your King's 22 inch reel, 400 foot, half inch ID King's hose. Um, all of our systems, you won't see a clamp on the discharge side. This is a two piece Foster reusable fitting, 6P13. You have a Dixon ball valve. Going down here, you got your Foster quick disconnect, your Foster plug, and then your adapter going onto your spray gun. Uh, Hypro and Udor sell the spray gun, adjustable handle in the middle, pull the trigger for the spray, trigger lock. I'm just gonna put this back down. I don't wanna, I wanna scratch up this fancy new truck here. Um, going over here, you have your same pump engine, but this one is run off two tanks. It's run off your 400, your second 400 gallon tank, and then your 100 gallon tank. And I know this is hard because the tanks are behind. We'll get up on top and show you more in a little bit. So you got one pump engine for two tanks with one hose reel. Now how we accomplish that is a valve bank, right? So you have a valve bank for suction, bypass, agitation. Then you have big numbers on it too. So you're gonna know your number one is your 400 gallon, your number two is your 100 gallon. So if you wanna pull water from the 400 gallon and put it back into the 100 gallon, you're gonna take this valve, you're gonna move it up. Now you're taking water, and I did that backwards, sorry. This was on tank two. So if you're gonna take it from tank two into tank one, your suction tank two, bypass and agitate into tank one. Uh, these are diverter valves. They don't shut anything off. All you're doing is directing the flow. So you're gonna direct it back to tank one or tank two, and you're gonna pull it from tank one or tank two. When they're all in the same position, oh, this is a hard one, Ah. When they're all in the same position, you're on the same tank. So if they're all on tank one, you're gonna be pulling water from the 400, agitating and bypassing to the 400, and you're gonna use your gun over there for either option. So you got the same GX160 key start, same Zeta 85, same 400 foot half inch with your hose guides. Um, you also have the same setup. Again, no clamps. They're gonna slice your hand, slice your hose. Ball valve to shut off the flow, quick disconnects, a reducer into your Lesko Kemlon gun with your two gallon per minute tip. And you can change this out. If he wants to go from this gun to this gun, pulls back the ball bearings, changes it out. Um, so you can choose whichever one you want to spray from, agitate, bypass to. Um, this right here, this is your fill. So you have your banjo, cam lever male, ball valve, your PVC leading up to the top of the tank. Um, how I said before, we're gonna make it a little bit more clear now we're going to go up top and we're going to show you exactly what, what we mean. All right, so we're back up top, kind of show you the layout here. Hard to see from the ground. Um, here's your two 100 gallon tanks, your 100 and your 90. For simplicity, they just put 100 in both. You can open up your lids here, two separate tanks. Uh, if you can look down on the inside, you're going to see your suction fitting to pull from the bottom and your agitation jet as well. That's what's going to mix up the tank. Uh, tank on the other side, this is your 90, same thing, agitation, 
And this is gonna come from the pump on the driver's side we haven't showed you yet. So when you wanna fill, we showed you that cam lock on the bottom. Here's your ball valve up top. Right now it's closed. You can fill either tank. You open up your valve, you can swivel this either side. This tank or this tank, when you're done, go ahead and shut it off. And if you wanna fill your other tanks as we go back, this is closed, your PVC runs through another valve. It's open right now. This is your first 400 gallon tank. Open up your lid if you wanna take a look inside. You'll see the baffles. You'll see everything that makes this safe. Here, this is your swivel. This lid, there's two lids for this tank. Just gonna put this back on here so it doesn't fly off. You open up this one here, and you can use the breather if you want. More space if you open it, swivel into here. So this is your 400. Put this back on. This is your other 400. This was that front pump, the first pump we showed you. It's gonna be hard for him to get in there and show you, but same swivel action. If you wanna fill this 400 here, if you wanna fill the other 400 here. Put it back, whichever one you wanna fill, you have that ability. And you'll notice we use another Foster piece here. It's got the black rubber to hold down. It won't mess up your pipe. So we're putting things on here to make it a better, safer thing. PVC and any tank you fill from the bottom. You come up, you have a nice walkway, fill whichever tank. You have that ability to swivel. Makes it easier on you as an applicator. And we're gonna go over some more standard features. All the rigs you've seen so far, they've got your aluminum skirt around the back here. You got your two inch DOT bumper. Uh, finishing touch on this, we're gonna paint the bumper and we're gonna have this board on top so you can stand on a little bit better, get up. So that's not done yet. That'll be finished before we drive this out of here. You're also, your other standard feature, backup camera. Every King's truck will have a backup camera, the skirt, two inch DOT bumper. And you'll also see, uh, I don't know if we have the film of coming up, but when you step on here, you got two handrails. You got your grate here to step on. We wanna make it as safe as possible. We don't want you falling off. We don't want you slipping. We don't want you getting workers comp claims. We're gonna do what we can to protect you and your employees. And so on this side, we're going to the over the driver's side of the truck. Every truck's different. We're gonna to talk to you when you're trying to purchase the truck during the quoting process. What applications are you gonna use the truck for? Uh, this one in particular is going up to New York. He's gonna do fertilizers, fungicides, and PHC Roundup, right? You don't want Roundup in with your fertilizer. You don't want Roundup in with your fungicide. So this is gonna be a dedicated Roundup tank. And this one is plumbed to that 100 gallon, 90 gallon tank right there. So you have your Kappa 43, your same Electric Start Honda. So electric Start Honda, Udor Kappa 43. This one's about 10 gallon per minute. 560 for max pressure. A little bit less flow, but more pressure. Smaller tank to agitate, 10 gallon per minute, perfectly fine. But you don't want to do Roundup in the same tank as your fertilizers or fungicides. If you do, you got to clean the tank, purge the hose, big pain. You don't want to waste time doing that. You want to be out making money. You want to be out spraying. So this is your dedicated Roundup, this side just for that tank. Your same electric reel. This one's an 18 inch Kings. You got 300 foot a half but your same Lesco gun every time. Reusable fitting, ball valve, quick connects, no clamps in the way. You're not gonna have any issues with that. Uh, last bay here, more of a storage bay. We put some custom in here with some D-rings. If you wanna have a, a bucket, anything, you wanna put a round hole in place, that's gonna be there for you. We also have a fresh water tank. Uh, there's a lid on top, you can see. I believe this is a 10 gallon tank and underneath, fitting hose, here's your hand wash, your ball valve, you're done for the day, open that up, wash your hands, clean them, drive off and go home. So what you have here is a blank canvas. Whatever tanks you want, we can make it. We're not locked into one mold. That's the beauty of polyfiber. We can make a 400, 400, 190. We can do a 350, 50, 25. Whatever you can imagine up, we'll find a way to make it happen. Plumbing might get a little bit crazy, but we'll do it. Um, Thickness, I know I talked about this. Thick, nice tank, ambulances, fire trucks, this is what they're made out of. Half inch thick walls, three quarter thick bottom. If you ever had a different type of tank, you may notice your walls aren't the same thickness. You may be thick, thin, thick, thin. You put a bulkhead through there, you're in trouble, it's gonna leak. That will not happen on this tank. Nice, thick, uniform. They're not gonna flake off on the inside. 
They're easy to clean. Poly welded fiber is what we'll go with. That's what we do. You got your roll up doors. You don't have any flip up doors. We're in Florida, it's hot. That sun, you can see the sun hitting this. That's why I'm wearing glasses again. I'm, I'm getting sweaty out here. But when you have this closed. Ah, sorry. Still not strong enough. Ah. When you have this closed, the UV rays, they're not hitting your hose. What happens when UV rays hit your hose? It doesn't last as long. It also heats up your chemical. You're gonna spray heated chemical on something. It's not gonna do what you want it to do. I've seen many trucks with pump engines hanging out on the back. That hose is not gonna last. Again, we're making sure everything we do has the customer in mind. We don't want you messing up customers' lawns. We don't want your components not lasting. We wanna build you something that lasts a long time and you're happy with. So I'm kinda of gonna go over what we have here. Your driver's side, open bay for storage, fresh water, hand rinse, hand wash tank. You got your PHC, your Roundup, Kappa 43, Electric Start 160, Electric King's Reel, aluminum stainless steel manifold, your stainless steel hose guide, pull left, right, up, down, let's go gun, two gallon per minute nozzle, 300 foot a half inch hose. Uh, coming around the back, got your skirt, your backup camera, your DOT bumper, you got your handles for safety to get up on the fill. I'm not gonna get up there again, it's very dangerous for me, I'm too old for this stuff. Um, coming around this side, this is the main show. You got your valving, you got your sight tubes, you got your gallon indicators, you got your dual pump engine combos, your Honda electric start deflectors, your Z85s, 22 inch King's reels, aluminum stainless, guides, guns. You got it all. We want to build what works for you. Um, it may be difficult on our guys to come up with something new every time. I also missed something now that I'm over here. Uh, if you look down here, here's your filters. These are thick A-rag poly. They're not going to break. You come here, you got your shutoff valve. You're coming in, you want to clean your filter, Hey, let's go ahead and shut this off. Now I can clean it out. Coming on the other side, you got another one right here. That's your other filter. This is for your main 400. The other one's for your 400-100. Opposite side for your PHC. Sorry about that. There's so many features, so many things on this truck. Sometimes I forget. But you got your poly fiber. You got your pull-down doors. You got your Honda engines, your U-door pumps, your King's reels. Everything built with you in mind. If you're interested in a lawn truck quote, we'd love to earn your business. Please contact us, 800-228-0905, sales at sprayerdepot.com, lawntruckdepot.com. We'd love the opportunity. We'd love to talk to you. Yeah, please give us a chance.